Hey guys, researching here. As it turns out, this is actually going to be the shorter video today. Encoding overload, what? That doesn't make any sense. Um, anyways, uh, so, um, I initially thought this would be the longer video. It's actually going to end up being the shorter, uh, because the review for, uh, Skullcruncher actually ended up longer than I thought it was going to, and it's late at night. I've just completed taxes, and uh, I was working on completing a certain section of the story in Persona 5, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Because I do respect Atlas, I am not going to give spoilers. Uh, that was their decision to make. They made it. Uh, I do hope that eventually I can show off the game. Uh, maybe with the new game plus, I might actually be able to beat a Persona game for once. Um, so, one of the more interesting things with this is that your schedule is a bit looser than it usually is. Uh, I'm curious as to whether there's going to be the usual 13 bosses or if there's going to be a smaller number due to the way the schedule's working. Because uh, there seems to be a lot more room to work around this time. Uh, which is good. This helps with the uh, confidants uh, being able to get... Uh, more of that uh, boost done. I don't know how many confidence I'm at now, but I am pretty close to having most of them, I think. Uh, so I just beat the uh, fourth boss, fourth major boss, uh, and it, I'm probably, what, halfway through the game? Let's see. Not quite halfway, yeah. Uh, so, it's definitely... You have more than a month between bosses, it seems like. Uh, some maybe sooner than others. I'm really not sure, honestly. Uh, but it gives you plenty of times to... Not times, plenty of time to get through a dungeon, beat the boss, and still be able to do everything else you need to do. Uh... I've almost completed a couple of the Confidant stories. There's some things I still need to, some stats I still need to get up to be able to do uh, other things. Uh, it also allows time to uh, go into the uh, traditional extra dungeon uh, and do more of the stuff there. And, uh, I'm finding that very helpful just to get items for money and stuff. Uh, and even that doesn't seem as hard as it usually is. Uh, so one thing I will say, uh, some of these bosses, even if you figure out the mechanics, ouch. Third boss was pretty easy. But I think that was meant to be more of a breather boss. It came right before the traditional summer vacation stuff. Uh, and that tends to be some of the harder stuff that gets introduced. So, so I feel like it was kind of a breather boss between two difficult ones. Uh, I will say boss four is interesting, uh, due to, uh, a unique change in the story. Um, let's see. I had this all in my head and now I'm forgetting it. Uh, <laughs> So they've really upped what uh, the confidants actually do for you around this time, too. Uh, you get unique abilities based on the confident, uh, which is very, very helpful. Uh, it, it means that you get more than just the extra experience from fusing. And there's even more new fusion mechanics, and oh man, the new fusion system. <laughs> that is creepy. Uh... But so far, I am still very much enjoying this game. Definitely recommend getting it if you get the chance. Uh, once again, I know there's something I wanted to say, and I'm trying to think of what it was. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. 
that's what I wanted to mention. Um, so you are allowed to switch difficulties uh, basically whenever you want. Uh, I found that I've been switching between uh, easy and normal mode. Uh, usually I can get through something on normal mode. Uh, in fact, there was the third dungeon. Uh, I thought I was on easy mode and managed to push my way through normal because it was kept resetting every time. Uh, but I tend to switch between the two. Again, usually I can do normal and that'll be fine, but every so often there's just this level jump that it, it just works best to go to easy. There is a mode uh, even easier than easy, but if you pick that you are locked into it and cannot change it. Uh, and presumably you'd still be locked in even in the new game plus. I don't know for sure because I know we're, I'm not to that yet. Uh, uh, but I do think I'll actually beat up Persona game for once. Uh, I pretty much consistently get to the end, but I think this time I can actually beat it. Uh, so a whole bunch of stuff to do. A whole bunch of ways to increase your confidant stats. And like I said, confidants are way more important this time around. And I do love that. Uh, I will say, it, due to uh, some of that I can't really spoil, uh, that, that would be a spoiler if I said it, uh, confidants do not work the way they usually do, where you join a school club uh, and you can get that. That that one's not in there. The other confidant things are in there, where you meet someone and then you can work with them. Uh, but this time, stats are required to do it. Uh, which again, m makes the stats more useful too. Uh, so, th that's an interesting mechanic to it. it. It definitely does not work the same way as Persona 3 and 4. Uh, again, I can't speak to, uh, 1, and, uh, I think 2 had a different th thing than 3 and 4, but I'm not sure. It's been so long. Uh... I still don't know if this takes place in the same continuity as uh, 3 and 4, if it's its own new thing, if it takes place in the original Persona continuity, I have no idea. Uh, but, yeah, still enjoying the game so far, definitely recommend getting it. That's all I've got to say, I keep repeating that, I am sorry, but it is very good. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye guys!